Hey guys, welcome to the Hacked Existence tutorial on DE ICE. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at getting root on the DE ICE ISO. So you can Google around and find that it's pretty old, uh, so it shouldn't be that hard to find. Basically, it's a live CD that's built on Slacks so that you can fire right up in VirtualBox. You don't have to give it a hard drive. And it's basically a Linux server that has some vulnerabilities and weaknesses built in and your job is to use it like a puzzle and use real world tools and techniques to try to break into it so now that it's booted uh, the first thing we'll do is kick off an nmap scan so we'll do nmap minus ss 192.168.1.100 so basically we're doing a sin scan here and so that creates two pieces of the three-part TCP handshake um, and it shows us which ports are open with services that respond so the first thing we see is that port 80 is open, so we'll kick off Chrome and we'll go to 192.168.1.100 and you can see that it's the welcome page for DEICE's pen test lab. Um, so here's a disclaimer, if we click here, uh, we're greeted with the home page for No Security Corp. Basically there's a bunch of information on this page here, so let me just move that out of the way and I'll fire up this spreadsheet that I put together. Basically, what we have is a bunch of first names, last names, position, department, email, and notes. Uh, so we see that Marie Mary is on emergency leave. Um, and one of the things we're going to notice right away is our IT department and our sysadmins. So these are the accounts that we're probably going to want to go after uh, to begin with. So let's take a look at our services. Um, and we can see that FTP is open. So let's try to FTP open. 192.168.1.100 and you can see that FTP is actually broken um, so if you google that error uh, you can probably figure out why but we'll look at that a little later um, so next we see that SSH is open so we'll try and brute force an SSH login uh, using Hydra so the first thing we need to do is put together a list of usernames so we'll bring this over here and we'll say vim usernames.txt and we can see um, the naming convention for email here is last name first letter uh, so we'll start with that Adams A banter B coffee C um, and one of the really common naming conventions is first letter last name so we'll do A Adams B banter C coffee um, and then we'll try just their last names too so Adams banter coffee. Basically our goal is going to be to crack uh, just one password and stop and that'll tell us what the naming convention is so that we can come back and remove the other six names that we know don't fit the convention. Okay so now we want to kick off a Hydra attack against SSH um, so we'll move this over here and we'll say man Hydra pull up the man page for Hydra and scroll down a bit okay and we'll start putting together our Hydra command let me blow this up a little bit. So we'll start with Hydra and the first thing we'll do is minus capital L usernames.txt the usernames file that we just put together um, you can see this right here in the man page and the next thing we'll do is the minus P file for passwords so we'll do minus capital P we're going to use user share word lists rocku. So rocku.txt is a file that ships with Kali Linux uh, in that directory there. Um, but it comes gzipped, so you have to g unzip it um, so you can pull the text file out of it. Uh, let's just look at that a little bit real quick. So if we do a wc minus l user share word lists rocku.txt, we'll see there's 14.3 million passwords in that file. So um, if we just take a look at the file real quick, you'll see how long it takes to actually open the file because it's such a massive file. But it's basically just a bunch of password guesses um, that we're going to run through to try and brute force uh, one of these logins. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is minus E and SR. So N checks for null passwords, S is to try the login as the password, and R is the reverse of the login is the password. Um, and I had to learn this the hard way. If you basically one of these usernames is the password, and that's not in the rocku.txt file. 
So if you try and crack that, you'll actually exhaust the whole 14.3 million guesses and not crack the password um, unless you're using this minus E NSR flag. So the next one we'll do is the minus U. Um, and basically what this says is when we give it that usernames.txt file, it'll try all the passwords in rock U against the first username and then move to the next username. Um, but we want to rotate between the usernames for each password. That way we can figure out what the naming convention is faster. So we're going to use a minus U. And then since we're just trying to figure out the uh, naming convention for the usernames, we can use this minus F to exit after the first found password. And then if we scroll down some more, um, so we're going to use minus T is the number of tasks in parallel. Um, and I'm going to use 64, which is the max. Every time you're attacking SSH, they tell you to use the recommended is minus T4. Um, so that's probably what I would use if I was doing this over the internet, but we're attacking a virtual machine on our own host, so we don't really care. Um, the next flags that we're going to use are the V for verbose and capital V. So then we'll give it the IP address 192.168.1.100 and we'll tell it to crack SSH. And you can see just that fast, um, we have already cracked bbanter, whose password is bbanter. So if we look back over here, bbanter is a sysadmin. A Adams is probably going to be uh, the account with the access that we want. Um, but let's just pull up our usernames.txt file again and take a look at what we've got. So now we know that B banter worked, so we can guess that A Adams and C Coffee are probably the winning combinations. So we'll get rid of these other usernames. And we already know the password for B banter. Um, so now we have A Adams and C Coffee to crack. So we'll go back over to our window here um, with Hydra in it. And instead of saying minus L usernames.txt, we'll do lowercase l. And we'll just try to crack A atoms first. Um, we're going to use the same password file. We'll do ENSR. And we don't need minus U because we're not uh, giving it a list of passwords. Um, and minus F doesn't really matter because we're only trying to crack one password. So let's kick that off. And you can see now it's just trying to brute force through all these passwords. So we'll leave that running. And we'll kick up a new terminal. And we'll log in with bbanter. So SSH minus L B banter 192.168.1.100 and the password is B banter. All right, so let's check out where we are. We're in our home directory. And there's nothing there. Um, okay, so now we know for sure these are the usernames A Adams and C Coffee, and there's an FTP user. So let's check out. We have no permission for FTP. Okay, so let's try sudo cat. Etsy shadow b banter and b banter is not in the sudo file um, so at this point there's been an email kicked off to the root account to tell them that b banter tried to use sudo okay so for now we'll just hold off and let this uh, a atoms hydra attempt run through its course All right, so we can see that 34,000 guesses in. Uh, we cracked the password for A Adams, and it was Nostradamus. Um, and that file that we were using is 14.3 million passwords. Um, so 34,000 in, there was still millions to go. Um, and you can see our processor sat pretty nice at 20%. We didn't really use any memory. Um, so now we have the password to A Adams. Let's log in with that. 
and the password is Nostradamus. Um, so let's move this over here, blow it up a little bit. All right, so let's try sudo minus s Nostradamus. Okay, so A Adam's not allowed to execute bin bash, but it looks like we do have sudo access. So let's try sudo cat at C shadow. And there we are. So now we have the password hashes. Um, so what we'll do is over here we'll vim hashes.txt. Um, and it's a good idea to go back in here and just write down what we know. So we know this is Nostradamus. And we know this is B banter, and this guy has pseudo access. Um, so, in our hashes.txt file, what we'll do is we'll start by copying the root hash. Whoa. Let's try that again. So, we'll copy that, and we'll paste that into our hashes.txt, and on the next line, uh, we still need to crack C coffee. So his password is in the rockyou.txt dictionary, so you can actually crack it with Hydra, uh, but it's a considerable way down the file, so it'll take quite a bit of time. So we'll try cracking it with John. Okay, so now we have a hashes.txt file. Um, so we'll exit out of here, and we'll exit out of here. Let's kick up a new terminal. And we'll start by using John minus word list. And we're going to give it user share word list rock you dot text. And we're going to say minus pot dot pot. So the pot file is your password output file. Basically, if John stops for some reason, the processors are overheat, the power shuts off, uh, the system crashes, whatever. When you resume it, it'll check this pot file to see uh, the passwords that it's already cracked so that it doesn't re-crack them. Um, and then we're going to give it hashes.txt. So let me bring this down a little bit and we'll kick up our system monitor again. So you can watch what happens to the processor when we use John. Let's kick that off. And you can see our processors just peg way up here around 95%. And it's already cracked the root password. It was Taro. And it's cracked C Coffee's password. Um, and it's right there. So you can see that's much quicker than doing a Hydra attack if you can get the hashes. You can really utilize all your processing power to attack these uh, much, much quicker. Um, so let's SSH minus L A Adams 192.168.1.1 or .1.100, excuse me. And the password is Nostradamus. And let's do SU Taro. And who am I? So now we have root um, on the DEI machine. Okay, so uh, real quick, let's go back in here and look at what's inside FTP. There's a folder called incoming. And if we cat salary, we can see it's an encrypted file. Um, so in the next video, we'll take a look at what's in this file and how to deal with that. Uh, stay tuned and thanks for watching.